Ed Zerul is carving out the final details of this Meerschaum pipe. And when he's done, a pipe like this can cost over $300. It's made of Meerschaum, a mineral rock often found in underground mines in Turkey that reach 137 meters deep. The most intricate pipes can take up to two months to complete. Those can go for over $7,000. But Meerschaum is fragile, which means Ertuğrul can lose all his work at the last minute. <laughs> so what sets Meerschaum pipes apart from the rest? And why are they so expensive? Lüteş pipo da e, içim olabildiğince iyidir. Çünkü sebebiyeti şudur. Ağaç içerken ağacın e, kendine özgü bir koku ve tadı vardır. Ama lüteşin de sadece içmiş olduğumuz tütünün tadını alırız. Turkish people have been making Meerschaum pipes since the early 1600s. Meerschaum, also known as sepialite, is a clay-like mineral. It's lightweight, porous and heat resistant making it ideal for pipe smoking. Its porousness allows it to absorb tar and nicotine, reducing how much is inhaled, which some pipe smokers prefer. Meerschaum is found all over the world, but the most commercially important Meerschaum is mines near Eskishir in Turkey. It's locally referred to as white gold for its economic and cultural value. To make Meerschaum pipes, Artisans first seek the highest quality meerschaum, known as the right grade. The higher the grade, the less prone the meerschaum is to cracking, so they're willing to pay more than double the price of the lower sandy grade. The right grade of meerschaum is rare and difficult to obtain. Meerschaum is located in underground quarries, and here in Gozlubel, miners have found high grade meerschaum. Emery now carves pipes but he got his start in the industry as a miner. He's taking us 44 meters below ground, where he'll chisel at surrounding rocks to find suitable meerschaum. Miners make educated guesses as to where to start, typically near deposits they've already mined. The work is physically demanding, and even the strongest laborers can take an hour to remove just one stone. But that's only if they find it. Çünkü e, yeri geliyor e, bir kuyuda günlerce çalışılmasına rağmen. The goal is to find larger meerschaum rocks that are at least the size of a fist. Oh, very nice. Çok güzel bir lüteşi bulduk. This stone can sell for at least $38. Emre says larger meerschaum has higher heat resistance, up to 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Tadı güzel. The bigger the meerschaum stone, the more elaborate and eventually, the more expensive the pipe will be. But artisans like Emre can only make as many pipes as the Meerschaum supply allows. İsteğimiz tekrar daha fazla sal almak ama yer altından çıkan sayı ne kadarsa biz onları alıyoruz. Though Emre can spend up to $2,200 at a time on raw Meerschaum, that's still not enough to meet the demand for the finished pipes. Yapacağımız piponun madenini kendimiz çıkarttık yarında. Haydi gidelim Eskişehir'e. Ertuğrul Çever is one of the few master pipe carvers in all of Turkey. He's been making Meerschaum pipes for over 50 years. Aside from the cost of the Meerschaum itself, the final price of these pipes comes down to skill and craftsmanship. To start making the pipe, Ertuğrul removes any dirt from the stone and cuts around fault lines that may later cause it to break. This sometimes means lopping off three quarters of the Meerschaum stone. He then carves out the rough shape of the pipe. He air dries the pipe to strengthen it, then drills in guide holes for the mouth and body. 
Ethereal refines the pipe again with four different sandpapers to remove any flaws and to ensure a smooth surface. Simpler pipes like these can sell for over $100, but complex pipes like this Ottoman Sultan head require further handiwork, which can triple the price. Ertuğrul doesn't plan the design for his pieces. He works from memory and feel, so each of his pipes is a unique work of art. After hand carving every minor detail, Ertuğrul starts shaping the stem. The stem's materials can vary, Ebonite is used for more expensive pipes, while acrylic is used for more affordable ones. The stem is polished, then fit into the mouth of the pipe. Next, Ertuğrul dips the pipes in beeswax, which adds a sheen and further hardens the meerschaum, prolonging its durability. But even when worked by skilled hands like Ertuğrul's, the meerschaum is liable to break unexpectedly at any point in the process. <laughs> The risk of this happening, especially with complex pipes that can take up to two months to complete, means sometimes Ertuğrul's work is all for nothing. But when he can finish a pipe, it can be sold for top dollar. When I was selling people to the street, yani ben kendi adıma en pahalı sattığım pipo 3-4 bin dolara geçmemiştir. Çünkü alım gücü fazla olan ürüne rağbet ederiz biz. Meerschaum pipes at this price point are typically large, intricate collectibles that are also functional. Bu bu elimde gördüğünüz pipoların büyük çoğunluğu benim e, elimdeki koleksiyonun sadece en eski parçalarından oluşuyor. Çünkü bunların büyük bir çoğunluğu 1800 yıllardan e, ve 1700 yıllardan olan pipolar, 200-250 yaşlarında olan pipoların koleksiyonudur. Today, Meerschaum pipes are in high demand by collectors and smokers alike. But that hasn't always been the case. Around the turn of the millennium, a rise in anti-smoking laws and the availability of alternative materials created the market for Meerschaum pipes. Things took a turn in 2011, with the rise of tourism in Turkey after the Arab Spring. As tourism continued to increase, Emre saw Meerschaum pipes regain popularity. And the global pipe industry is set to grow even further, at a rate of 4.5% by 2031. Yet as demand for Meerschaum pipes increases, Ertuğrul fears the profession can't keep up. Biri bitti, biri başladı. Ve şu anda da Belki de altın dönemini yaşıyor yani. Ham madde pahalı olmasına rağmen. Geleceğe açısından bizim tereddütümüz yetişen sanatkarın olma işi. Eğer bu devam ettirilirse bakıyorduk fakat şu anda yetişen genç nesilde o ustalarımızdan daha iyi usta olabilen bir sürü yetenekli insan oluştu yani.